All right, I got a battle here versus Fake. I think I found him on some chat somewhere. So yeah, he's gonna lead with Tyranitar, which I kind of expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Reptom to try to scare him off with the Will-O-Wisp or maybe a Hydro Pump. So I'm gonna go straight for the Hydro Pump. I don't really care if he brings in Burungaru. I got shit that can handle it. And um, I don't really like to over predict early on in the match. So he brings in Burungaru, I'm Scarfed. Um, that's not gonna work for me, so I need to switch out. I thought he was gonna go for like boiling water or will o wisp. Uh, toxic works out though, because I'm not really gonna take too much from it. And um, he's gonna be forced to switch out since um, I don't think he wants to take a stab thunderbolt to the face. So I do know he has door user, but I don't want to over predict. So I go straight for the T bolt, and now I have to get out of here since I don't want to take the rock slide to the face. So I'm gonna switch out to that earth. Because that earth takes um, any hit from Doryuzu. And yeah, get off my poison. And now I'm going to start predicting since he's making all the obvious switches. So I know he has a Salamence. I'm going to go straight for the Ice Fang. But due to Intimidate, Ice Fang isn't really going to do as much as I hoped. So I don't know what type of Salamence that is. It might be mixed. I don't think it's Dragon Dance since um, Glissor kind of was that guy. And yeah, so I'm assuming he's mixed. I'm just going to go off to Rotom. Hopefully, um, he'll fire off a Draco Meteor and I'll be able to adjust. But he goes straight for the Outrage, which kind of confuses me since um, Glissor is a physical wall. But whatever. Um, I got Natare. I go to Natare. I think he gets a crit. Yeah, he gets a crit, which is like whatever. I'm going to get up some Stealth Rock. And um, yeah. So he went for Outrage. I know the Outrage set always runs um, Fire Blast because of Natare, Fortress, and Skarmory. So I'm going to Death Fodder my um, Rotom, which didn't really do too much, but whatever. Sand is going to finish him off, and now I'm just going to go to Boltros. Since I know Boltros could do a lot of damage since I do have the Focus Blast, and he might go to Tyranitar again. Uh, I go for the Focus Blast um, knowing he's going to predict me to over predict so um it misses though which is like pretty bad but whatever i can deal with it so now i know he's gonna switch out to burungaru so i'm gonna go for the t-bolt and uh his shit gets wrecked so if that focus blast would have hit it would have been kind of helpful but whatever 80 percent isn't accurate enough i guess so i'm pretty sure he's not gonna want to switch out burungaru since it's pretty much useless and i believe i got up stealth rock so he's probably not gonna well He's probably not going to be able to bring him in again and do a lot of stuff. So, yep, T-Bolt finishes him off, and I got my shit at 50% health. He goes to a Scizor. I think I can live a Bullet Punch, so I'm just going to stay in, hit him with a powerful um, Thunderbolt. Wow, why did I say powerful? That was fucking lame. So, he predicts my switch, I guess, goes for a U-turn, and I barely live it, but Sand is going to finish me off. And even if Sand didn't finish me... The poison would have killed me off, so whatever. He goes to Tyranitar. I'm going to go to my Blaziken and wreck his shit with the high jump kick. And yeah, he's pretty much in deep shit since um, his ghost is dead, which means that like all of his fucking team is weak to fighting now. So I'm sitting here pretty good. But I know Doryuzu is going to be faster than me even after the speed boost. I do have Protect to get a second speed boost, but he's still going to be faster. So I'm going to go to that Earth and dodge the Earthquake, I believe. So yeah, now I'm going to predict his switch, go for the Earthquake, um, and finish off the Scizor. So he started off predicting me, I guess, a couple turns. But since then, I've been wrecking his shit because, bro. But yeah. So now he's got a fucking... A heat ran out, and I'm just gonna bring in um, Natterhate as Death Water, so so I could bring in Latios um, and hit him with the Surf, and that's not gonna quite kill since I am not Specs, and he's gonna go for a Nitro Charge for some reason, but I don't really care since a heat ran doesn't really run uh, Dragon Pulse anymore. It's got better options like hidden powers and garbage like that. So, like I said, he doesn't have the Dragon Pulse. And a second surf is easily going to take him out. So I think he's got Doryu's left. And I got like a shitload of stuff left. So I'm not worried. Because I got that earth. And that earth is going to handle that Doryu. I just got to pop his balloon. And then I should be able to um, kill him off with the earthquake. So 
he gets a flinch, which is like whatever. He's gonna need like, he's gonna need like 18 of those to be able to kill me. So I go for the acrobat, pop his balloon, and now he's not gonna be able to float in the air. So that earth is gonna fuck his shit up. So yeah, um, comment, rate, all that shit, and I'm out.